King of Yum post second tour stage win in suffocating heat. 9. France King of Yum beat his sprinting rivals in suffocating heat to win stage 16 of the Tour de France on Tuesday, with Frenchman Julien Lapinus keeping the race leader's yellow jersey. With temperatures soaring as high as 40 degrees Celsius, 104 F. The Lapinus and his main rivals did not attack each other over the 177. Tyson Kilometer main week last stage in the 9th World Interland. Defending champion Geraint Thomas crashed about 40 kilometers after the race started from the Roman city but escaped largely in state, with a few scratches on his left elbow. Ewan, a tour debutante, Eshelly of the Gaini and Dylan Boone moved into post his second stage win following his maiden success in Toulouse last week. After a group of five breakaway riders was caught two kilometers from the finish, the Vianney was set up by his teammates and launched the sprint about 200 meters from the line but could not resist Ewan's comeback. To be honest, I felt so bad today during the day. I think the heat really got to me, Ewan said. I was really suffering but I had extra motivation today because my daughter and wife are here. I'm so happy I could win for them. Thomas who is second in the overall standing, had already been caught in pile-ups during the first and eighth stages of the three-week race. Danish rider Jacob Fugelsang, who stood ninth overall, also fell with 28 kilometers left and abandoned the tour. Thomas Sports director Nicholas Portal said the Aneo team leader hurt his left side but is all right ahead of three difficult stages in the Alps later this week. Under a scorching sun, Riders try to cool down with bottles of cold water against the back of their nets as they prevailed on the Pontu Guard, an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge set against a dramatic landscape of rock, trees and water. Fugitive Alexis Dutcher, Lucas White Chosky, Stefan Rossetto, Paul Orslin and Lars Back had a maximum lead of two minutes but were gradually reined in as sprinters' teams organized the chase. There was no significant change in the overall standing, with Alapulus keeping his 1 minute, 35, Tyson second lead over Thomas and Cass. Stephen Pruitt switched remained third, 147 off the pace and 3, seconds ahead of Cyboxinus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.